Welcome back for another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you something different. I'm not gonna be showing you my aquaponics system or my pond. I'm actually sh gonna show you a friend's aquaponics system or you can more say duck ponic system since he's incorporating both ducks and fish and the plants to make a duck ponic system. So it's like a little combination of things. So it's pretty cool. That's what I'll be showing you in this video. So hope you enjoy. So this system is definitely unique and different than most other people's aquaponics systems since it is referred to as like a duck ponics since he's using waste from the ducks that he has in here. I forget the names of them, but I'll post the names up here or the type of the ducks. But it starts all in this sump tank he has down here, which is where the ducks swim and they produce waste in here. And that's like the difference in his system is that he's using duck waste as well as fish waste, which are in this tank over here to supply the nutrients for the plants. So the ducks do input a good amount more than fish since they poop a lot and they make more waste just in general than fish. So that does introduce a good amount. Right now it is not as nice looking as it usually is since he is moving. I'm just recording this now before he does dismantle the system since he is gonna be going out to a different place and making a bigger system. But just wanted to show this neat aspect since he's not gonna be making it exactly with ducks, he's gonna do some separate system for the ducks and separate system for aquaponics. But you can see how it looks. He's got a fish tank over here. It's about a thousand gallons. He's got a 250 gallon sum tank over there. He's got three media grow beds on that side with bell siphon, four media grow beds over here with a bell siphon as well. He's got his radio flow filter out here in the back. And that main purpose is for capturing the solids, which diminishes the amount of dissolved solids in the system and then he can drain that out and water his garden with that. The ducks have a little hut in there, some protection, put a lot of work into it. Definitely made it very aesthetic. The way the system looks is pretty cool for sure. Different than my system. My system is quite commercially looking. This is definitely very presentable for sure. A bunch of tar growing out here in front and then here we have the fish tank area it's quite dark right now just because of the fact that he is moving and hasn't been working on it so much he doesn't have much plants in there the pump is a little slow right now since the duck waste in the, the sump tank over there but he has a good like 200 fish in here or something a mixture of tilapia bluegill and catfish they're a good size and then he has an air pump in here just to give them more oxygen just because of the amount of fish. And here we have the three grow beds on this side. I mean four, one, two, three, four. They're all, they're four bell siphon grow beds, 60 gallons. This one is kind of a filter, it, more of a filter actually. It's mixed with the hydrogen and then metolomat inside which catches a good amount of solids. Those ones are mainly for plants. It is a little hard to access them though, to grab the stuff, but you can get the idea. Actually underneath this one, there is a concrete post holding it up because of the weight. So it goes down the middle and then you have all that there. Automatic fish feeder, the duck area over there. And then you have the other three grow beds over there. So there's many ways to set up an aquaponic system incorporating waste from different animals. So this is very unique, as I mentioned, different than many people have because of the aspect or the introduction of the ducks into it. So how the water runs through the system, it all starts in this sump tank down here. It is then pumped up through a submersible pump into that tank over there, which is a conical radial flow filter. And then from there it is gravity fed into these three grow beds on this side and then these four over here. So you can see that black pipe going out of there and into here. And then from this one it is coming in on that side over here. So you have the pipe going over there and then into these four grow beds over here. And then from the grow beds they all overflow into here, at least on this side. And then from this tank it overflows back into the sump tank itself and from those three grow beds it overflows as well into the sump tank over here so here are the fish we can see they come for some food he's got red Nile tilapia in here albino catfish some koi and some goldfish 
Looks like they're not so hungry. So the fish tank, which is situated over here, is built with wood on the outside, and then on the inside it has insulation, which allows for less temperature exchange to regulate the temperature better. During the winter, he did have to heat it just because it does get cold, and for the tilapia, you do need warmer water, or you don't want them to get too cold. So he had a heater on here during the winter. So that's also why these grow beds are shut off, since he didn't want as much water flowing, so he didn't have to heat as much water but it is getting warmer. So if he was staying here, he would have had a lot more plants that you can see now. But as I did mention, since he is moving, it is kind of a mess or more of a mess than it would be. This is power outlet over here and a little storage compartment for his fish food. He's got his air pump down there. His fish food in here. And here you can see that pipe that has been gravity fed from the filter, which is all the way over there. Different valves. Well, that sums up this video, just showing you my friend's system before he does move out. And then when he does build his new system, which is going to be quite massive, a lot bigger than this thing, incorporating the same concept with the duct to produce the waste for the plants, as well as having the fish in there. So I'll show you those videos later on as well when he does make that, when he finishes. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed that video and were able to gain something from it or another idea or another perspective on an aquaponic system. There's many different ways to do it. If you do have any questions or comments, remember, as always, to leave those below and I'll get to those when I can. Otherwise, thank you for watching.